I in this video I want to show you how to save um, a lot of money with flights. I use Google Flights. It's very user friendly. Um, so I just search for Google Flights in my thing. It go right to it. I just want to show you a little bit of some of the tips and tricks on how it works here. So with Google Flights, you can actually like add multiple airports, um, or you can even just type in Michigan if you're willing to drive. You know, um, from any airport or drive to any airport, you can do that. Um, I'm going to go Detroit and. Let's say we want to go to Florida. Um, another one of my suggestions is I always change it and do one way uh, because you can find different companies will do better. You know, either you can fly Frontier there and Spirit Home or whatever. There's usually not really any good deals with um, booking a round trip. I know some people seem to think that, but it doesn't usually work that way. So let's go Florida. And then um, one of my favorite things is that you can actually kind of just view the whole entire map. I think so this pulls up all the places in Florida that you can fly into. Um, and that's for the specific date over here, the Sunday, September 25th. So you can kind of get an idea of like which airport seems to be the cheapest. Um, or if you actually narrow it in, Miami was the cheapest. So you, to the airport and search, it's a one way. And then if you're flexible on your dates, you can actually just click on this and it will pull up every single date um, for you. And you can pick out of those which ones, the green ones are your cheaper one, so you can get some flights for like $64, it looks like in October. Um, and this calendar just goes on and on, so you can keep going and going all the way to, you know, 2023, and you're going to get all the prices. Obviously, you see the further out you go, the more the price rises. Your really good deals are going to be within the next eight to 10 weeks. Um, you know, they're trying to fill up those last minute spots, but of course, if you're really dead set on a certain um, flight, you're going to want to book sooner because these are the leftovers. These are, you know, maybe the evening flights or something that are less desirable. Wednesday, obviously. Um, so if we click here. So, yeah. Oh, this one is a one stop. So you're stopped in Atlanta for two hours and 15 minutes. It's a six hour flight, uh, but it's $65. Or, you know, for $88, you can do the three-hour flight. So, kind of gives you a, a little bit of chances to see different ways of doing it. Once I narrow down which one I want on the way there, I go directly to their website and book it. I do not ever book it on um, Google Flights. I just use this as kind of like my reference. And then if you, like are dead set on that date, but you want to watch the prices, you can also hit track prices and it's going to give you email updates every time that the flight changes for that date for any airline. Or you can even just zoom in on like one specific one, like I can click this one and track these prices and it will only tell me the frontier ones change. The track the price, you just click it and if you're signed into your Google account, it's going to, you know, send it to that email. Um, and then when you want to see your flights home, so we know Frontier was the cheapest on the way there. Wednesday, November 9th, we would be flying to Miami. Now on the way home, if we're pretty flexible, we want to come home maybe the 15th or the 16th for $77. But it may be a different airline, so let's kind of see. Yep, so it looks like Spirit is the way home. Um, also again, one stop, it's the one down there at the bottom for the $77. Um, but you can just kind of play around with it. And it's a very user-friendly website. I really like this because I can, you know, 
change airports easy. I can add in like if I already know that I'm gonna that I'm close to not only Detroit but um, Flint. Um, if I'm also willing to. fly from Chicago because Chicago is a big huge airport they have lots of flights so you can add that in you can just keep you know adding on if you wanted to pick different places um, there's the Toledo okay took Chicago off there, but, um, that's pretty much the Google flights and, you know, I will go over some of the other airline things. Um, I love Spirit, Frontier, Allegiant. Frontier is not my favorite, but they're cheap. Um, and I always say my vacation starts when I arrive. I'm not going for the big fancy seats. And besides, actually the seats on other planes are only two inches more. I mean, these are below average leg room, but come on, two inches. To save me quite a bit of money, I am, have no problem doing it. Um, and these are great for people with, like, big families because you do have to pay for baggage. So you don't want to be buying the cheaper ticket and paying for your own baggage if you're one person. But if you're using one suitcase for six people, it's a big money saver. Uh, thank you. Check out my other videos for more travel tips.